Automation in recording and analyzing bioacoustic data hold the promise for unprecedented scalability in wildlife monitoring. In this study, we focus on the binary call detection of the Winnie call of Jeffrey's spider monkey towards verifying their presence. The spider monkey has an important role as seed disperser for many large tree species and is critical to retaining healthy forests. It is endangered across its uh, range uh, due to forest loss uh, and thus being the target for hunters for meat consumption and the pet trade. In an attempt to reduce the demanding field work uh, required to detect this elusive species, we used passive acoustic monitoring by means of in situ sound recorders in order to collect an acoustic data set without perturbing the animal's behavior. We approach uh, the spider monkey call detection task via weekly supervised acoustic event detection and specifically the multiple instance learning framework. Since our call annotations refer to the entire clip, uh, we have to use mechanisms for pooling instance or frame level information to a bag level representation that characterizes the entire clip. Uh, we perform an, an extensive comparative study among recent acoustic uh, architectures by controlling the pooling mechanism. We then show that uh, an improvement upon this model that is based on the addition of squeeze and excitation leads to an increase uh, across all performance measures. We then perform a second comparative study among uh, global sequence pooling mechanisms, uh, this time controlling the core model to be our proposed squeeze and excitation ResNet. Uh, we include in the comparison both prediction-based and embedding-based pooling methods. Regarding machine audition research on the endangered uh, Jeffrey's spider monkey, we collected and introduced here the first acoustic recording dataset uh, with call annotations recorded using passive acoustic monitoring methods. We validated that a ResNet inspired from the best performing model proposed in a recent study is also the best performer in our uh, task and data set. And we further improved it in two ways, by including squeeze and excitation layers, and by also using a much better uh, global pooling method. In that latter regard, our surprising uh, results uh, show that self-attention based embedding pooling is generally better than prediction pooling for our data set, thus contradicting previous insights from similar comparisons. Specifically, we find multiple head attention and subsequent concatenation of the pool embeddings from its head to be the best approach. Our study area covered approximately 2,000 kilometers in the South Pacific coast of Costa Rica. In the context of this study, we annotated data from 13 sites. Of the nine recognized types uh, of calls of the spider monkey, the Winnie is the most common, therefore we opted to focus on it. We listened to 600 hours of acoustic data and isolated 591 examples of the target sound in a total of 366 sound files, which are the ones included in this study. The calls are around one second long and we opted to segment our recordings into three second clips. We partition in a size, in, uh, excuse me, in a site independent manner to ensure that our model does not learn the characteristics of a site. Uh, on the right is shown the multiple instance learning framework that all competing methods follow. A core neural architecture transforms an input representation with a temporal dimension into a sequence of learned embeddings, each representing a part of the input clip. Then uh, two things can happen. Either we pull these embeddings into a single global one and then process that to get prediction probabilities, or we get a sequence of prediction probabilities that we then pull. Um, in a, a recent comparative study of uh, convolutional neural network based models applied on log mile spectrograms, a 38 layer ResNet was found to be the best performer. Uh, more layers did not lead to improvements. Uh, due to GPU memory limitations, we used a 28 layer ResNet and validated its great performance on our task uh, against other competing core models. We further improved ResNet 28 by uh, using squeeze and excitation layers, which have uh, been used before in acoustic scene classification, albeit on uh, a much smaller three layer VGG style architecture comparable to the lower performers of uh, our comparison. 
Uh, as shown in the table, the input clip representation of this uh, core model is a Locknell spectrogram of 300 time frames uh, by 128 features. This is processed by a deep architecture consisting of both VGG-like and residual blocks. Uh, an SC block is a regular residual block followed by a squeeze and excitation block. Uh, this model outputs a sequence representation of nine time frames by 8,192 length features. Uh, as for data augmentation, we used random time shift on the positive clips, random input noise, and spec augment. Model selection is based on area under the precision recall curve for the positive class, but we also report area under the receiver operating characteristic curve, macro F1, and macro recall. Details on the baselines, as well as an uh, extended statistical significance study, can be found on the paper. Here, uh, we compare core models by using average embedding pooling in all cases. Uh, the three bigger models, PGG-16, CNN-14, and ResNet-28, have similar performances. However, the only significant difference between them is that ResNet-28 yields higher area under the precision recall curve. We thus opted to apply the SC mechanism on this model, leading to the best performance uh, of this experiment by SC ResNet-28. Here we use the SC ResNet-28 core model and compare pooling methods. In the upper block, uh, the best prediction pooling methods respective to measure do not manage to outperform the average embedding pooling reported in the previous uh, table. Uh, as for embedding pooling, uh, we first observe that the simple average max method used in the past study along with ResNet is one of the weakest performers. Single head attention outperforms average pooling as well as the better prediction pooling methods going against the insights of previous comparisons. Uh, as for multi-head attention, the best method, which leads to the best result in this study, is the simple concatenation of the fused embeddings of each head. Uh, this is denoted by AT4. An alternative is denoted by double AT4. This method uses a second attention layer to learn a weighted average of the first level attention heads outputs. AT4 performs better than double AT4, and so we opted to compare further variants of AT4. However, none proved uh, to be better. Uh, so that is all, and thank you for your attention.